My name is Kate Vakel, and welcome to Craft Beer Fridays. You're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. Well, it's because I'm reviewing a killer IPA. This is Hopsecutioner from Terrapin Beer Company. They are located in Athens, Georgia. This is 7.3% ABV with 71 IBUs. American IPA. Right here. We're going to murder it. Specifically, with this machete. After I drink it. It's time to crack the head off of this beer and pour its guts and blood into this glass. Ha 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 ha! The gnats are already swarming as its body is decaying. Well, my friends, this is a hop-heavy beer. Let the dust settle. <laughs> six varieties of hops. That's like six broken laws. We will deal with you later. <sighs> well, this beer has a nice light copper color with those orange and red, and it automatically smells like pine and citrus fresh like the forest behind me. Uh, I think it's time to drink this. Cheers. The first time I actually tried this beer was in episode 36 and that was in a blind taste testing with a bunch of other IPAs so this was definitely one of my top favorites and I just had to get it again to review it separately because this is a very good American IPA. This provides a very strong malt backbone that really offsets and balances those six hop aromas. Like holy moly, this is a great balance of hops and malt and carbonation isn't extreme so very easy to drink, 7.3. The aftertaste is more of a dry bitter and that's when you really get that citrus taste. Overall though, if you're a hop lover, Hopsecutioner is definitely the beer for you and it also gives you a little bit of a multi chocolate kind of aftertaste that blends super well with that pine and citrus. So this is a very good beer and go check out episode 36 if you want to see this compared with some more IPAs. Now it's time to finish the execution. Thank you for watching today's murder. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, life is too short to let good beer live, so drink it.